2012 will not be the end of the world as many people are afraid that it will be. It might just instead be the end of the world as we know it today in a very good way. It will be an elevation of our consciousness. It won't be as if on December 21st we pick up our bed sheets, look underneath and scream because we're suddenly invisible. We might scream for another reason, but I'm sure we could turn that into another interview. Right now, the focus is that I'm not even sure we're going to notice anything on December 21st, December 22nd, maybe for one year, for three years, for six years. But a dozen years or so later, we will look back and say, look at this shift in human consciousness. Look at this change in our awareness. And as we become more aware, we bring into creation, we bring into existence what our awareness recognizes. In other words, we become more multidimensional beings. And since we go where our attention is, we don't just become more multidimensionally aware, we exist more multidimensionally. The reconnective healing frequencies take us beyond energy, beyond the subsets of energy, such as Reiki, Jirai, Jinshin, Shigong, etc., takes us beyond the entirety of energy and into a spectrum of energy, light, and information. Aspects of light and information that have not been seen here on the planet before. Five studies so far with a sixth international study being planned have shown that the reconnective healing frequencies raise the level of our light and make it more coherent. They bring us into what a number of the scientists call a super aware state of consciousness. They increase the number of spindle frequencies occurring in the brain. What happens is that the DNA in each of our cells emits specific levels of light. We know this today from the work of Dr. Fritz Popp in Germany and others who are continuing his work. It is generally understood that when our health is diminishing, that light is dimming. When our health is coming back up, that light is coming back up. And light plays a very important role in the healing process. So maybe this new, expanded, more coherent level of light is a part of the gift of what 2012 is opening us up to. What it does, it is, what it does is that it allows our light to rise to a higher vibration. Now, how does that happen? It happens through a concept called entrainment. Entrainment is, well, let's take an example. The old clock factories. The clocks would have pendulums swinging from them. After a while, all the pendulums would pretty much swing at the same rate. They would entrain with one another. Women who work together in close office atmospheres, often their menstrual cycles go on to the same cycle. This is an example of entrainment. If you have two stringed instruments and you pluck one here and pluck one there, what happens is the lower vibrating string often rises towards the higher vibration of the other string. This is entrainment. Now, how does this work with light? When we access reconnective healing, we move beyond energy into light and information. This higher level of light communicates with us on a level other than conscious. And something inside of us subconsciously says, hey, I remember this. I recognize this. This is a part of my essence, a part of my essence that I experience in between lifetimes. When we return to that light that we all come from that we all return to. I think I'll do it again. And we return to that vibration of light. And once we do, we regenerate tissue more instantaneously. Our muscle tissue changes, our collagen changes. And anything denser than that light vibration 
which pretty much tends to include most of our health challenges, has very little left to hold on to. So as appropriate for that person on their life course, those health challenges, those densities simply fall away. The insights of 2012 are to teach us to redirect our vision, to bring our insight and our attention back home, back inside of us, to step into becoming the healing so that we can inspire the healing and evolution within others. Many people are looking for a message of hope for 2012. I don't think it's about hope as much as it is simply about recognizing that we are evolving into more aware, more multidimensional, more comprehensive beings. I believe if hope goes anywhere. My hope for 2012 is that we learn to recognize, to stop looking for what makes each and every one of us different, individual, and unique, but that we learn to look for what makes each and every one of us the same. Looking for what makes us different is what has spiraled into conflicts, arguments, and wars when we learn to recognize what makes us all one and the same. That when one child cries in one part of the planet, a hundred children weep in another. That when one child laughs, a thousand children laugh. That we are that connected. As soon as we recognize that, we will become more fully one community on this planet. And as far as I'm concerned, that's the next step into becoming more fully one community in the universe.